morning. So, history is important, right? And while we are in history class, we think of these things, a lot of people will think of these things that happen and they and they're like, well, it was before my time. You know, it was before I was born. It's insignificant. It doesn't matter. But you know what? It does. Because remembering these dates even. Like, I don't. I'm not good with dates. I don't remember dates. And uh, it's kind of like, so, I mean, I guess the dates aren't really that important but remembering when like the timeline like so for example Anne Frank and Martin Luther King were the same age and so was Marilyn Monroe and the Queen of England the first one same age they were the same age and I'm like, and I think I blame pictures because there are only specific pictures. You know, you get Anne Frank, who's who's got blah, blah, blah. the picture we have is her of in her in her attic, and she's it's an older like sepia tone whatever picture. Then you have Martin Luther King, who is is still black and white, but it's black and white not and doesn't look as old. So you think that Anne Frank is older than Martin Luther King, and these were timelines that didn't happen together, but they did. And then I remember, oh yeah, the Berlin Wall. I was alive when that came down, and. I think about, there's kids out there like, what was this Berlin Wall? I don't care about a wall. Well, you know how Trump was trying to make the wall between Mexico and the United States? Same concept, except in Germany. Um, they, you know how Hitler existed? So they had the Berlin Wall built as well to separate Germany into like upper lower class or you know, Jews and non-Jews or whatever the... See, I don't know the history very well. That's why I failed it in ninth grade. I did. I failed history in ninth grade and I had to go to summer school that year to take social studies and I didn't learn, I didn't relearn anything. I didn't relearn any of the history that I was taught. So I don't remember. If I did relearn it, I don't remember it. Anyway, it's it's kind of crazy that um, Betty White is older than sliced bread. And those people existed. They could have coexisted. And they, they did. They existed in the same world, in the same time. It wasn't the same. <clears throat> it wasn't the same place. But it was, you know, they were still this in the same era, in the same generation. And I bet there's a lot more that I don't know. I'm sure there is. And people are, are, are in the mindset that if it doesn't affect them, then it doesn't matter. Lot, lots of, I wouldn't say all, not all people, because, you know, they have historians. But not a lot, there are not a lot of people out there who are not in that mindset. Especially when they're just learning about it. And I know I was one of them. But it matters, because my dad would say, whatever affects us out, whatever is happening out there can affect us in here and so I just try to keep that in mind and to make my footprint on this world um, bigger more substantial deeper footprint you know 
it's not less significant. My footprint on this world is not less significant. It doesn't matter less than anybody else's footprint. So, JJ, stop licking the toilet, I swear. Anyway, um, it's not less significant. It's, it may be smaller, but it still matters. What you do matters. What I do matters in this world, even if it's just the smallest piece. So, you know, somebody could have said something to Rosa Parks that day that she decided to sit down in the back, in the bus, on the front of the bus, when she wasn't allowed to. She could have had somebody say something to her that made her stay where she was and start the, the movement. You know, it's possible. We don't know. Maybe somebody just, she just decided to listen to that one person who put her little footprint on them and said, said something to Rosa Parks or said something to Martin Luther King or said something to um, even Cleopatra or whoever, and just, just they decided, that's it, I'm going to make a change. And maybe my footprint will be that for somebody who will um, make big change in the world. So, I don't want to think that I... That your foot don't think that your footprint doesn't matter because it does. Your footprint could be the first step for change. Excuse me, JJ. Can I help you? Can you leave always under my foot? Good morning. It's 7.25. I started work because that's what time I start work. It's 7.25. File. New session. Um, everything is working just fine this morning, so that's good. I am good. So I did... Uh, I've been doing the stretching. I will not skip a day because the way my back felt yesterday was not good. And that was just for skipping one day of stretching. I won't do that. Oh, that's not where that goes. If you're working out regularly and you've gotten in that habit, in that swing of working out, Improving upon yourself. Don't stop. Keep going. You can do it. You want to reach your goals. You got to keep going. I mean. People didn't climb Mount Everest in one step. People didn't. Didn't explore the world in one in one go. Rome didn't build itself in a day. You know, other stuff that people say. Things take time, but it, you will show progress, you know? And as long as you keep sight of where you want to be and remember where you've been, you can, re, you can see the, the progress that you have been making. And remember that where you have been does not define where you will be. You make your own future. Good afternoon. I've been speaking philosophies today. Not really philosophies, but very like metaphors, you know, leave a footprint, whatever kind of stuff. And now I don't feel like doing that. Why does our kitchen smell like butt? 
Probably because we have too much garbage lying around. Well, this is from yesterday. That's the bacon grease. So that could be something. I have, this is my sack of balls. I have this sack of balls. They used to have six balls in there. Now it just has three. I use this now on my back. I roll the balls on my back. A sack of balls. Sometimes I will sit on the sack of balls, which doesn't sound too comfortable, but I'll put it like on my tailbone. Excuse me one second. There we go. And it relieves pressure. It gives me pressure, but relieves pressure because uh, I have the back pain. And it feels nice. These are very hard balls. This sack of balls, they're hard. They're, they're for dogs. They're dog balls. Hard dog balls. But, you know, the sack of balls. Yeah, you have. Hi, JJ. Hello. You're going to come over here. To, I'm going to make a sandwich because I like the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. This peanut butter and spread it doesn't sound right. So we call it peanut butter and jelly Herbie, can you be quiet? Seriously, why are you dig, dig, dig all day long? <sighs> you ever watch the cartoon? What's the cartoon? Sleeping Beauty. No. Um, Snow White. The Snow White cartoon. Where the, the, the uh, dwarves will go... And they'll go dig in, um, they'll go, they're going to go dig, you know, in the mine. And they they sing the song, dig, 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 all the whole night through or some whole day through or something like that. And they're like, dig, 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 do it's what we like to do. Dig, 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 dig. I don't know the words. I just remember dig, 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 dig. And then they hit the stuff with their hammers. And their pickaxes and stuff. So whenever I say dig, that's what I'm reminded of that Disney cartoon. Anyway, I'm going to make myself my sandwiches, and then I'm going to go sit back down and massage my butt with my balls. Okay? So I'll see you after work. I said that I would see you when I'm done with work. Hey, and it's after work time hey, now. Yeah. Here's your food. Oh, Jesus, JJ. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with JJ. Okay, so she's rolling around on the bed as one dog does when they have something smelly that they like. Or they want to smell like it. I guess that's why they roll around on stuff. I don't know. Maybe her back itch was itchy. Anyway, she fell off the bed. So that was like the last 5.30. So I had to pick her up. And she... um was embarrassed poor puppy she was embarrassed and she did not want to look at me as I tried to take her picture she did not want to look at me all right I'm gonna try I'm gonna do we're gonna do um, chicken tacos today you know it's it's Tuesday so you know you have tacos gonna have tacos today Chicken tacos today. My chicken's been in the microwave. It just chills out. I just chill it out in the microwave. It's defrosting. It's not fully de thawed. It's not fully defrosted, but uh, we'll work on it. That's no problem. Just gonna put it in the pan in my uh, cast iron pan. We're going to heat that up, cover it, get it to a point where I can, um, cut it up. 
I mean, I can cut it up now. It's pretty defrosted, but not all the way where I would like to like it to be. So I'll just use, you know, in a little bit, I'll uh, defrost or defrost. I'll cut that up in this or shred it up into some pieces there. Some shredded chicken tacos is what we're going to be making. So, but right now I need to clean off these pans that have all the bacon grease and put the dishes away. I know you want to see my beautiful chicken taco. Tacos, plural. See how beautiful that is? Use the green leaf lettuce. It looks so good. Doesn't it look so good? But the important thing is, how does it taste? Mmm. Mmm. Doing taxes when you have all the paper forms are a lot easier than when you have no paper forms. I have to get my W-2, but my W-2 is only available on my work computer. So I have to log into my work in order to get my W-2 information. So we're trying to do taxes. Taxes. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, uh Taxes. Temptation Island. Why if you're in a relationship, would you go to Temptation Island to test if you have a strong enough relationship? Or whatever the reason is to see if your relationship is where you want it I think these people just do it just to be on TV quite honestly because they're all like a year two years except this one couple is like 11 years and he's like no not she doesn't she doesn't want to get married and I'm just like you don't have to get married but the relationships that they have are just I don't get it. Whatever. Reality TV, you know. Okay, well, anyway, have yourself a good night, and tomorrow is Wednesday. Toodles.